Hello, I'm Carol Flavin. This is my narrow gauge 09 layout, the Harland Light Railway. Well, it isn't really because it's in the process of being done at the moment. But I'm working on something at the front on the left hand side, which is in quite a prominent position, and that's the harbour. Now I'm doing this in two stages. The first stage is the one I'm showing you now, which is putting in the harbour walls. The second stage, which will come later, is when I put the water in. Now I know it might sound a little bit of an odd thing to say, but this area is a really useful shelf and it means I can put things on it. And I don't want to lose that shelf at the moment, so I'm going to retain it, but with the harbour walls in place. The harbour is being made with these. These are plaster cast harbour walls, which I bought on eBay. There's a number of walls. There is also some stairs and steps up from the side. I've made some wooden pilings from balsa wood, dead easy to cut, just painted them to look right. And when I put them into place, I use household filler, a couple of spatulas, pointy one there, rounded, ended one. If you can see it, there you go. To apply the filler, the filler holds them in place, fills the gaps, and allows me to make sure that they're secure. And then I just paint them into place so that you can't see the joins. There's gonna be lots of things around the harbour, there will be ladders, if you can see that. I've got some little plastic ladders that I bought, although to be fair, I can only find this one. The rest of them are in a packet somewhere. Um, <laughs> I put them in a safe place. I haven't found them yet, but I will do. Uh, there will obviously be people, people around it. There'll be boats. This is one of the boats. This is one that I used on the Edge and Strines Railways Harbour. I had a number of boats. The kids like those. I've kept them and I will be using some of them. There's going to be a breakwater, which will have a light and a buoy on the end of it. And generally, there's going to be a crane, there'll be a building. I've got a Will's barn that I'm going to convert into a boathouse. And I should enjoy doing the rest of it, but just at the moment, I'm really enjoying making these harbour walls. So I'm going to show you how I've done them. I started by painting the walls grey acrylic paint. I used a thin brush and picked out some of the bits of the walls with buff titanium and then finished it all with a black wash. And then I added a tide line at the bottom of each of the walls and the steps. So let's start. Got the tub of household filler on one side here, piece of walling there and I'm going to put on the back of this, well it's quite satisfying this actually, it's like spreading butter really, some of the filler. Reasonably thick because I want it to, to support the wall and also to give me a layer at the top that I can use to tidy it up where it attaches to the harbour wall. Should do it. Need a piece along the edges, each of the edges where they're going to be attached to other ones. Try and keep it clean just because I don't want to have to paint too much of it up really. There we go. That then is the piece of walling, that is the filler on it. Make sure that the tide line is at the bottom, push it into place there. Now, I normally wear gloves when I'm doing this, but I, real, I found when I tried to do it that the gloves actually get in the way, so I've just taken them off for now. Otherwise, I can, it can make your fingers a bit itchy, to be honest, if you use this stuff a lot. Well, it can mine anyway. So there we go. Reasonably tidy along the top. 
wet cloth, very, very grubby wet cloth, which allows me to wipe the worst or the excess amount off. It won't matter too much because this is just gray paint. And along with everything else, I will just paint it uh, so that you can't see it anymore. Tidy there. Now, the pointy tool I mentioned, this one, allows me just to go into corners like this, tidy it up slightly, um, gives me access to things. And also it allows me to scrape off the worst of the excess on the top for the simple reason that there's some quite nice stones on this which I will have to paint back up again and that will allow them to uh, well look the part really. So there we go that's it in place. There's two more left to do I'm going to do those speeded up. This is where I am now. You can see all of the white household filler still because I've only just done this. These are the bits I did in front of the camera. They all have to dry thoroughly before I can paint them out and tidy them back up again. That's one of the sets of steps. Those are one of the wooden supports that hold the walls up. Another set of steps here that's in the area that is going to be the manufacturing area and the harbour anyway. water area. I shall just paint that up to tidy it because as I say I'm going to use this as a shelf. You can imagine how useful it is in that position. This is before I painted out the filler with the grey paint and this is afterwards. My original intention was to make the slabs for the top of the harbour walls out of das clay but when I did it to be fair, they looked a bit untidy. So I've used Metcalfe's paving slabs. Um, I'm working my way around at the moment, finishing it off. I painted these grey to match the walls. I also painted up some bollards, which I rescued from the Edge Hay and Strines Railway and put those in place for the boats to tie up to. And then I experimented with a few other bits and pieces of boats. I did think about having a boat for hire cabin. I may yet do that. It's not in place at the moment. I thought it was probably time to show you that I do run trains on this layout. This is a loco running along the harbour wall with some wagons and with some loads on the back from the mine area and the manufacturing area. And if you look closely, you can see one of the tourist trains running round on top on the upper track. And of course, this is running round the harbour walls. My next video will be to do a video on how I did the river running down from the crashing waterfalls on the mountain at the top. And I will hopefully do that for you for next week. hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful, found it interesting. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like it or share it. That way I know that you enjoyed the video and I can do some more of them. Lots of other things in the offing, obviously I'm going to finish the harbour off, but not just at the moment. Crashing waterfalls off a castle, cliff face, the river. Lots of things that I'm going to be doing videos about that I hope you'll enjoy. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.